Okay, we are looking at a foundation for a cabin that I'm building. My name is Mike Haller, and this is how I'm set up to do it. This is my driveway, and this is my house. And the, the, there are uh, nine posts, concrete posts, and three by eight girders, three three by eight girders. And I decided to put insulation in the deck. Um, so what I did was, I, I have sort of three versions of this and I'll go through it from the start of it in the back. Back here, between the girder, is a treated 2x8 and then on the 2x8 there is a little ledger piece here and here and over here. It goes all the way around and going into that is going to be this uh, roughly 4x8 piece of pl uh, treated plywood that's going to, so the only thing facing underneath will be the treated plywood and the treated 2x8 um, joists. And then uh, once the plywood is in place, then we put joist hangers in on the girder on both sides. And then we put the 2x6 non-treated um, joists between the girders on joist hangers. And then uh, that, the, the uh, basically this, this plywood, treated plywood underneath is to keep varmints out of getting into the, where the insulation is gonna be. And you see I have, uh, I have uh, soffit vents to, for a little, uh, uh, to, to, to keep moisture from being, uh, so it can dry out in case it gets wet in there. And, here, this is a drain from my driveway that goes down underneath. There's going to be a little deck here in the girders that stick out. And then I do also have a little elect, uh, elect, electrical line coming in with non-metallic conduit popping up through the, through the uh, treated plywood. And then uh, it'll come up and into the wall when it's built. So there it is. Back here is a little excavator that's in place that someone uh, helped me with uh, some other work on my property. And over here is my Steiner tractor, which I used to do the excavation of this thing. And I also use as my sort of portable tool cart. So that's it for now. That's the first step of the cabin. Talk to you later.